bigger and better than ever before. Manchester Art Fair 2023. This is your chance to go along and see exhibitions, maybe listen to some artists talk on a panel, maybe even buy some art yourself. Everything from paintings to prints to photography to sculpture. There's 140 different exhibitors, including these guys. This is Paradise Works. Hello Jess. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm okay, thank you. What an amazing space. I had no idea that this was even here. Not many people do know we are here. Um, so yes, yeah, so we're tucked away in the heart of Salford. We're an abandoned mill. We began in 2017. And yeah, we've got two um, gallery spaces and currently house over 40 artists. Over 40 artists? Yeah, so yeah. this place must be massive. Yeah, it's huge. So we've got three floors. Okay, yeah. well should we get a yeah, look yeah. around? Come on, come take a look. Sounds like there's plenty to look at. Welcome. So this is our main gallery space here at Paradise Works. Wow, it's a great space as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's huge. <laughs> so this is where you have your exhibitions? Yes, it is. Yeah, so currently we have this exhibition on by um, Short Supply, so they're an art collective. So not only is this a space where we can come and have a look, enjoy art, maybe buy some, yeah. but it's a space for up-and-coming artists that might not have a platform yeah, definitely. to show their work to a big audience. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And that's something we're very passionate about here at Paradise Works and making sure, you know, especially in-house artists here, use this gallery space and you know they can have a group show a solo show and just really kind of show um, the art scene what they're about so then how often would the space change how often would you repurpose or re-exhibit stuff yeah so we often aim to have an exhibition every like six to eight weeks wow. um yeah and we're currently planning a full program for 2024 which That's is really exciting big turnover for you big turnover i like the challenge don't worry <laughs> yeah well good i'm glad <laughs> well we know that you've got 40 in-house artists based here yeah. Have they all got their own individual spaces around the building? Yes, they do. Yeah, yeah. So they've all got their own private studio spaces. Can we go and have a look? Yeah, of course you can. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah. Come on, let's go have a look. Yeah. Maybe get some inspiration. I've got it. Yes. <laughs> so this is Flair's studio. Okay. It's a nice space, isn't it? Lots going on. She's isn't a big great? fan of socks. <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> so Flair is actually going to be um, exhibiting at the Manchester Contemporary Art Fair this year. Oh, OK. Yeah, that's and she'll good. also have an exhibition downstairs as well. So we've got a group show on, so she'll be one of the exhibiting artists there. For artists in general that, that come here, I'm assuming that it's quite an affordable space for artists to be. Yeah. How important do you think that is to the Manchester yeah. Salford art scene? Yeah. I think it's so important, especially, you know, post pandemic and you know everything everyone's been going through we've been seeing a lot of kind of local artists have to move out of the city centre so I think it's very important that you know they have a community like right in the heart of the city and, and, and that is important isn't it we, we yes they need the space to be able to work and be creative but it's yeah. got to be an accessible place that people can come yeah and yeah, see definitely. what's going on yeah definitely yeah I'm um, talking of seeing what's going on yeah is that a piece of art or is that actually a table where she keeps all her paints and that is actually flair's paint trolley and i've always said it is the best paint trolley i think i've it, ever it, seen it literally <laughs> look at it look at that it looks like a piece of art this is studio criticals um workshop now i don't know if i'm allowed to have favourites. <laughs> but this space is pretty special, isn't it? It is very special, yeah. He actually does loads of um, local workshops for the community, so you can build spoons, make bowls, and you can obviously also purchase them as well. How is the Manchester art community, the Manchester art yeah. scene? I think the art scene's great. We're all very supportive of each other. We really kind of, you know, give everyone an uplift and you know it's moments like the Manchester Contemporary Art Fair which I think are so important for that and that really showcases that compared to any other art fair rather than it just being um, commercial galleries it is about the local art scene as well and giving us a platform. I mean we mentioned that I didn't even know this place was here but yeah. do you think enough people know about the creative the artistic creative side of Manchester and Salford and the North West? Definitely not, but I think this is why the art fair is there. It yeah. gives a platform for spaces like this. And, you know, we're doing the closing party this year and it's going to be so much fun. We're going to have full, you know, open studios. We've got two exhibitions opening. We're going to have a big party. Um, so, yeah, I encourage everyone to come down. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm getting, I'm getting flashbacks to woodwork at school. Oh yes, totally, yeah, it's like wood workshop all over again, yeah. isn't it? Although I'm worried that my teacher's going to launch a ruler at my head like he used to. <laughs> Should we go and have a look elsewhere? Yes, yeah, let's do it. After you. Wow, 
Well, that was Paradise Works. What a place and what a lot of talent all under one roof. You can come and see the talent yourself, just Google Paradise Works, or we'll see you at Manchester Central, 17th to the 19th of November for the Manchester Art Fair. I'll be there, they'll be there. I hope you will be too.